In this video, you will learn how to create a minimap like this, which will display also the player's position at the right scale and also every enemy's position at the right scale. If you like tutorials like this, just leave a like. And if you want to see more like this, just subscribe to the channel. This will support me a lot. And let's go. We start by adding a texture rack 2D to the UI. So take a texture rack. We'll call this one minimap. We make it unique. Then we go to our 2D view and we will add placeholder texture here, scale size and layout custom minimum size to 100 pixel and 100 pixel because we want a map which has size of 100 by 100 and we will also just move it to right side of the view here and we will just change scale to 0.4 as the map shouldn't be too big and then we will already start with rewrite the code we have to create a map out of file map layers so we create a new function which will be generate minimap and now we will just check the time map layer and the which where the tiles are at which position and at this position where the walls are we want to draw a black pixel area where the player can walk there will be a white pixel so the first thing is we will create a new image variable new map which will work as a text or the minimap so new map equals image dot create now we have to write the width in like 100 pixels by 100 pixels. Then we set the midmap ports and we say now we need to set the color format. So we say image dot format RGB image dot format underscore RGBA. The next thing that we need to got is the positions of the wall. So we say variable wall tile map positions equals percent wall dot get use step so this one we will call as an array and this one will be and the next thing what we need to do is we will just fill the whole map first with white pixels and everywhere where is wall we will just change it to be black pixel so we say new map dot fill color dot white and now we say for wall position in wall tile map position position new map dot set pixel then we say wall position dot x wall y and here we say the color black we have to write color small do black and now we need to set the texture of our minimap so we say person minimap dot texture equal image texture dot create from image and then we just say map so when we start the game now um, we just need to copy this function to the ready function so we will just put it at the very end so it will happen just after the whole map is already created and when we start the game you can see a mini map at the but right now we just have this mini map we want that also the player and also the enemies will be shown on the mini map and this is what we're gonna do now first we will do it with the player so we will go to the player script we'll just add Add a new variable here where we store the sprite which belongs to the player as you will um, understand later we say map sprite as a sprite d variable export variable map sprite sprite 2d save it and then we go to world and we'll rewrite the script we say add player map and we say variable new sprite equals sprite 2d dot new sprite dot texture equals here you can use any texture you want for your sprite on the map i'll take this one what i just created for this tutorial preload resource and then the pass to texture resource slash, slash minimap player texture and then we say get node player now we'll add the new sprite to the player as a variable dot map sprite so that it will move later equals new and at the end we go to the minimap dot agile so now when we start the game paste it copy paste it to ready when we start the game the player will be visible on the map but will not move yet percent mini map with a big m i write it with a big m so when we start the game you can see the player right here at the top but we want that the character is moving like in the same room like we are right now so we will write a movement script so we will say function update player on map mini map now we say get node so we need to get access to the player dot map sprite dot position so we have access to the position of the map sprite and we just say global data dot player so we got access again to the player but to the player position 
So actually we can write it the same way. We say get node player dot global position divided by 16. Why divided by? Because one tile on our map is 16 pixels. So that real position of the map sprite on the right position on the map, we have to divide it by 16 because one pixel on our map is 16 pixels in the real world of the game. And when we put this one to the process function, just like this, then we can start the game and the player had should move on the map the same position like the player in the world as you can see here this frog head is moving wherever the player is on the real map the head will move the minimap now you can expand it to add enemies also to the map that is what we're gonna do now right now there's no enemy spawning so we will just spawn a few enemies and also do the exact same thing what we do with add player to map so we call this function add enemy map and we say for room index in room room start size if room index no, this we will just skip because this is the position where the player will spawn. So we just skip this position and we just create a new enemy for every room. Bar new enemy equals preload slash slash enemy dot tscn dot instantiate. And then we just say new enemy position equals rooms room index dot get center multiplied by 16 because the room that what we got here is a tile position and tile position has a size of 16 by 6 so they will be like divided by the tile size our tile size is 16 when your tile size is 32 then you will multiply it by 32 but our tile size is 16 so we multiply it by 16 then we say percent enemy group dot add child you me so we added the enemy and then we create a new sprite which will be exactly the same thing what we did here so we can just copy this one paste it here and tap it in but just beside the player texture we'll use the enemy texture and beside that we'll add this to the player node we will add this one enemy and that they'll be also updated we say function update the enemy on map or enemy in person enemy group dot get children enemy dot map sprite dot position equals enemy dot global position divided by 16 and most important is that we will add this one what we just declare here the map sprite also to the enemy script save it start the game and when we did everything all right we will see enemies on the map right okay well that this will work we just need to add the enemies also to the world so we need to call this function so this we do through here it doesn't matter in which order you write it in the ready i write it this way and update enemy on map should be also written in the process function so write this one maybe we call it minimap so it's this consistent other function so when we did everything all right we will have moving enemies on the map if you like tutorials like this then just leave a comment if you miss some functionalities of the minimap i can add them just tell me in the comments and if you want to see more tutorials like this just leave a subscribe this one helps me a lot and i hopefully see you in the next video